Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. How you guys doing? Let's do, a, let's do a reading for the weekend for Taurus, yeah? Let's just see what these cards have to say for us for the weekend. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, cusp of Aries, but a Taurus sun. Western astrology anyway. So let's just see what the heck the cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Pull up a chair, get snuggly. And uh, let's talk about some things, all right? All right, if you're coming back to the channel, you know, you know, love you. This channel would be nothing without you. It would be nothing without you. And I do hope that you get something from this. And uh, everybody subscribe because uh, it really helps my channel grow. It does. I've been around since 2018. I only have 55,000 subscribers because I got kind of a cult following on YouTube with uh, primarily Taurus, but, you know, probably about 25% Pisces, too. So I read for Taurus and Pisces. I'm fixing to add Gemini to the mix for Gemini season coming up. And I'm going to start reading for Gemini, too. We took a vote on the channel, and air was definitely there. And then it was down to... Uh, Libra and Gemini and Gemini won out. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to incorporate Gemini into the channel come Gemini season. So let's just see what these cards have to say about Taurus today. Let's just do that. All right. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a million cards and we're going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together story. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus and what do they need to know and understand about how to navigate life successfully for their very, oh, I just got to stop there, for their very best and highest good. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. All right. First card out is Five of Swords in reverse, letting go of some kind of mentality. It's also sometimes about holding on to resentment. The Queen of Wands, interesting, success, the pursuit of success, someone successful. The Chariot, pushing forward, rolling forward. The Ace of Cups, talking about emotions, emotional growth, feelings, love. The Hangman in reverse is resistance. The Moon, big, huge internal struggle. The Queen of Cups, I'm assuming that's going to be you. Maybe, I don't know, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. Ouch. The Six of Pentacles to the wheel in reverse. All right, Taurus. All right, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's happening. All right, 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 all right. So we start out with the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? The Five of Swords in reverse is, the Five of Swords in the upright is about um, win at all costs mentality, right? I'm gonna do whatever it is that I gotta do and I am going to conquer, okay? In the reverse, this card is about letting go of that white knuckle grip on some kind of mentality that is um, standing in your way. Look, temperance in reverse. This mentality is interfering with your inner peace, okay? And then we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands talking about stability. Um, yes, can it be a long-term relationship kind of card? Sure, but it, more importantly, it's talking about stability and safety and, and status foundation inside of yourself okay okay and then the two of swords crossroads right two choices and two crossroads and the queen of wands queen of wands talking to us about um this particular taurus's 
internal combustion, okay? Internal combustion, okay? And it's all gonna make sense in just a second. Just hang with me for a second, okay? So at a crossroads, right? There's a mentality that, that this Taurus needs to address in their life because it's causing um, um, a, an imbalance, an internal imbalance in themselves, okay? Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, again, root card, Queen of Wands, okay? This whole reading is about your internal combustion. It's the Taurus doing something, okay? I'll, it'll all make sense. So the Queen of Wands, this is not someone else, and I know it's fire energy and not Taurus energy, but this Queen of Wands is representing Taurus's internal desire for success and achievement and growth. And it's just like this burning desire inside of you, okay? And it doesn't have to be a desire for something specific. It's just this, this churning that's going on inside of you, okay? The Nine of Cups. This desire, this aspiration to this internal desire um, is, is part of who you are. Whatever it is inspires you and makes you passionate about life, about earning those pentacles, about being successful, okay? So whatever this is inside of this Taurus, it is supposed to be your guidepost to get you to the Nine of Cups, right? It wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, emotional attainment, right? To the Ace of Wands in reverse. But there is a lack of initiation, a lack of ignition for this Taurus because of the mindset that is creating the internal balance, the, the, the lack of internal balance, okay? So these cards are saying, the universe is trying to get you to go somewhere, to do something, to, to ignite, but this particular Taurus doesn't want to change their mindset about something, and therefore it can't, boom, spark up like a match, okay? The High Priestess. High Priestess comes on top of all of that and says, the High Priestess is your soul. It is your ancient soul that lives within you. Life, this lifetime is, existence is linear, right? It, it never starts and it never ends and it just goes and goes and goes forever, as do you. As do you, the essence of you was here before you were born, and it will be there on the other side of all of this when you get there. The essence of you is there, and the things that inspire us, the things that make us passionate about being alive, those are soul things. Those are eternal essence of who you are. And if you will utilize that, if you will tap into your soul's understanding of what is going to make you the happiest, most peaceful human being that you could possibly be is to understand that that is who you are. So follow that, whatever that is for you. And that's what the high priestess is saying right there. They're like, this is this in this thing that you feel inside of you. This is soul movement. This is something that you need to pay attention to because it's trying to get you to where you need to go. The chariot, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what it is that you got to do so the universe can take you to where you need to go. The devil in reverse, release your limiting beliefs. This particular Taurus, I think that's part of that five of swords in reverse mindset, right? This particular Taurus doesn't want to leave a comfort zone to do this thing that is or will be brewing inside of you. You have to leave the four of wands, right? You have to leave something comfortable in order to do it. And that's hard for a Taurus, right? Taurus likes to be comfortable and doing something, especially if we don't understand the purpose of it or the reward at the end of it, right? 
Um, but whatever it is that you are passionate and inspired about, Taurus, you're supposed to be following that. You are. You are. Release your limiting beliefs. Detach from your own toxicity. What's that? That mindset, that I'm comfortable kind of mindset to the Ten of Pentacles, because the universe is trying to show you how to get some shit going on in your life, Taurus. They are. The universe is trying to show you through this Queen of Wands energy right here, right? They're trying to show you, High Priestess, how to spark that spark right there. Yeah, how to spark that spark right there, right? So they can take you to everything that is that is amazing. So your soul can have a good experience here. So you do what it is that you came to do. Nothing is a better tool for the universal order than a happy human being. Because if you're happy, then your soul doesn't have to fight so hard to to for, for you to pay attention. Right? The Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, talks about emotional growth. It talks about new feelings. It talks about experiencing something new emotionally. It does talk about new love. For some of you, it might be that, but even if it is about love, this reading is about the internal combustion that this particular Taurus needs to ignite in order to get everything, not just love, okay? Everything that you want, what, your sense of well-being, all four elements, right? That's why temperance was in reverse right there. Temperance is all four elements. It's peace in the mind, peace in the emotions, peace in the desires, and peace in your sense of well-being. That's how you manifest, right? You have to have control over those four things inside of yourself to be able to direct your energy into what it is that you're trying to create in your life, okay? Ace of Cups, this is growth. It's big growth. It's big emotional growth. It's the new beginning of a new emotional satisfaction in your life with that nine of cups right there okay and the eight of cups comes on well two of two of wands right talks about crossroads for your future just like that two of swords crossroads for your future and the eight of cups the eight of cups says you got to move on from whatever makes this ace of wands be in the reverse right there and whatever that is is directly attached to that uh, mentality that you need to let go of Mm -hmm. The Eight of Cups steps out of emotional disappointment and into the Nine of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment, right? So what they need you to do is draw that line right there, step away from whatever it is that Taurus doesn't want to step away from in order to achieve and succeed in the whole rest of their life. Hangman in reverse, right? Resistance. Resistance delays stalling. Um, your resistance is delaying. Look, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse right below it. Universal order. They need you to, to snap to it. Judgment in reverse. Your self-doubt is holding you back from this Queen of Wands energy. Your self-doubt is holding you back from following your soul's path. Uh-huh. It is. And page of Cups in reverse, and it's stifling your creativity. It is. It's stifling your creativity. That's the Ace of Wands in reverse right there. Your self-doubt. Your self-doubt that you can be more than you are, have more than you are, be self-sufficient or independent. Nine of Pentacles down here. Well, it's coming up right now. We might as well address it. The Nine of Pentacles, right? That was on the bottom of the deck. Independent, self-sufficient. Perhaps this is someone that doesn't believe that they can start a business or someone that doesn't believe that they can quit their job and so crochet things on Amazon. Maybe this is someone 
who doesn't think that they can um, do better in their job. Someone who's afraid to go to school, go back to school. Could be a bazillion things. It could be a million different things for a million different people. But it is blocking you. It's stopping you from living the life that you really could and should be living, honestly. The moon. Big, huge, gigantic internal struggle. Huge internal struggle. The Queen of Cups. They need you to get a hold of that queen of that internal struggle right there so you can be the Queen of Cups, okay? Because we have the Queen of Wands. They need you to be in control of your flesh, okay? They need you to be in control of your flesh and pointing your intention towards universal order. Okay, the moon, big, huge, gigantic internal struggle, the lovers in reverse, this struggle, which is why the ace of wands in, is in reverse, which is why there's self-doubt, whatever this struggle is for you, it could be anything for anybody, okay, is not aligning you with universal order. The lovers card is about frequency, right? Frequency over here, frequency over here, and y'all meet each other, and it's like, Psst, and you align, and boom, out of that comes alchemy. Out of that comes something that never existed before, which is the, the love between the two of you, okay? So frequency, the lovers in reverse, is about not connecting with the universe. It's about the, the, the your frequency is is low here because there's all of this momentum to go forward. All of these ideas, all of these desires, these ambitions, these inspirations, these aspirations that this particular Taurus has, but yet there is a deep self-doubt that you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And that misalignment of your frequency with universal order is what causes upset in the home, upset in the family, upset in the finances, right? Because it's, it's manifesting something that's not in your best and highest good, and therefore the universe cannot participate. You start manifesting towards something that is in your best and highest good when you ask for universal order to be displayed in your life, right? Um, when you align yourself with that, it just it's just drawn to you. It's, it's literally physics. But you are all off kilter here with deep self-doubt about playing it safe, maybe. The star in reverse, right? It's not your path. It's not your purpose. You're off track to the Queen of Cups. We need you to get a hold of yourself. We need you to know your worth, know your awesomeness, and conduct yourself, control your emotions, control your flesh, focus on your soul. Step into your power as the Queen of Cups. Step into your power as the Queen of Wands. To the Eight of Wands. And change change this Ace of Wands in reverse to the upright. Change judgment in reverse to the upright. Okay? And believe that you can do it. Page of Cups. So we can get this these creative juices going on here so you can step into your destiny. Yes. Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. This is... This has to do with this queen of pentacles in reverse right here, right? Which has to do with the hangman in reverse, okay? So upset in the home, the family, the finances, the sense of well-being, right? Ten of pentacles, upset in, in your foundation, in your security, in your money somehow, okay? Hangman in reverse talks about, talks about um, resistance, okay? So whoever this is, this Taurus is probably experiencing some kind of financial bind or some kind of financial pressure, um, some kind of urgency in your sense of well-being, okay? Okay. 
to the Nine of Wands. And your advice is to fight the good fight. Resilience, persistence, resilience and persistence. Focus on what you can create instead of what you can't create. Focus on what you can create because all this fire energy up here, there's something stirring inside of this particular person. Focus on what you can create and what it, and not on what you can't create, okay? The Ten of Cups and manifest fulfillment. You have all of the tools to do that. You have to control your mind, control your flesh, control your emotions and control your insecurities pull it all right here can get control of yourself and focus your mind on what you want instead of being afraid of what you don't have or what you can't get okay ten of cups seven of cups Confusion, options, choices, not making a decision, not taking any emotional action to the Queen of Swords. All four queens are here now. Okay, Queen of Swords says, boss up in the mind, boss up in the mind, understand that in order for you to have what it is that you desire to have in your life, However you live your life, if you desire to live in a hut on the beach somewhere, have at it. I have a friend who just literally pitched home in, in a, on some kind of, what's it called? A miner's um, deed or something like that. Some, some old abandoned mine in Colorado and she bought it and she's pitching tent there. And I'm like, what are you going to do? <laughs> And she loves it. So, hey, you know, to each his own. So whatever your own is, Taurus, is what they're trying to get you to do here. Whatever their own is. You want to you wanna, you wanna own a private jet and be able to fly into New York City anytime that you want to for lunch with your, your, your person? Then by all means, you can have that. But you have to stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on what it is that you want to create. Okay, Six of Pentacles. The universe wants you to be abundant. They do. And I know that sounds like Tony Robbins kind of stuff, right? But the, the universe wants you to be abundant. They, they truly do. Like I said earlier, you are an ambassador for your soul's experience. And your soul don't want to be broke. Your soul doesn't want to be bombarded and suppressed and suffocated by emotional woundings that you've never dealt with or even acknowledged, right? Your soul, all of this layers of just baggage everywhere shed it all read my book right who do you think you are it's the ultimate guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul it is your guide to an awakening awaken right see the purpose in your existence and grab a hold of what it is the universe is trying to motivate you to get involved with okay the emperor comes on top of this and it could very well be some kind of business partnership. Honestly, it could. It, you could meet this person doing what it is that you are inspired to do, but you're afraid to do it. If you will do what you're inspired to do, the trail is going to lead you to this emperor and the Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles is not only enough, but more than enough. It's the giving, the receiving, and the sharing of prosperity and life with another. Mm -hmm. But the wheel in reverse says we can't, we can't do it without you. We need you to participate. We need you to do this uh, thing that's inside of you. We need you to not be afraid. And we need you to take action. Yep, yep, yep. Hermit in reverse. You're not listening, right? You're not doing the the deep soul searching and introspection that 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 they need you to do because that's the place where you find your guidance and and your connection. Mhm. Mm the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, right? Owning yourself, getting it all straight together, manifesting what it is that you want your life to be. Or 
Prince of Pentacles to the Four of Cups in reverse. Stay emotionally apathetic and, and miss out on your destiny, right? Because your destiny can't unfold until you participate in your destiny. It's true. That's what manifestation is all about, okay? The Ten of Cups to the Empress, right? Emotional fulfillment, the be-all to end-all. Emperor, Empress, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles as well. Look, the Four of Cups. You got to you got to think about the way that you're going about doing things here, Taurus. The universe the universe in reverse. <laughs> the lovers in reverse, right? Because it's not you're you're not connecting. The universe can't find you. This can't find you because you're off on some low frequency vibration somewhere. 3 of Pentacles. We need you to have teamwork and collaboration with us. Ace of Wands. We need you to do this. Princess of Wands, put in some effort. Justice in reverse because your lack of accountability, hangman in reverse, is gumming up the show. Mm -hmm. The sun in reverse, which you don't see clearly, the two of cups. There is a significant, very, very significant relationship coming into your life, Taurus. Judgment in reverse, but your self-doubt will keep it away. Okay? Self-doubt, that's not universal Frequency. The universe source would never whisper self-doubt in your ear. Ever. Ever. So if you're filled with self-doubt about something, about doing something or going in a direction in your life or trying something new or, or, or just joining a bowling league in your hometown, right? Your self-doubt is going to keep you from this. Prince of Wands, take some inspired action. Three of Wands, see what's coming down the road. See what's coming down the road there, Taurus, to the King of Pentacles, because that's what's coming. <laughs> the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. That's what's coming. Prince of Cups in reverse, but you can't, uh, you're not ready. You're not ready. Eight of Wands, change your momentum, change your direction, ask for divine order to be orchestrated into your life. Move on, move on, move on from whatever it is that you don't want to let go of in order to experience something else. Maybe you just don't want to let go of your chair to go join that bowling league, okay? But there needs to be something. You have to do something here. Six of Wands, so you can have success. The Tower in reverse. To the Empress in reverse, right? You ain't doing it right, Taurus. To the Hierophant in reverse. You need to reevaluate your core root belief system. What are you standing upon? What are you afraid of? Like I said, Source would never whisper fear in your ears, ever. So if you feel compelled to do something, do it. The Eight of Pentacles. Work on this. Work it all out. Work it all out. Work on yourself. Work on your, your fears and your self-doubt. Take action. Do something about this fire in your chest. Go in that direction. Six of Cups to the King of Wands. So a soul connection can be forged in your life an extremely successful, extremely satisfying, extremely safe and secure soul connection. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. The only thing we don't have here is the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, but that's all right. Emperor, Empress, Ten of Cups twice. Uh-huh, to the star. It's your path. It's your purpose. It's the way that you're supposed to go. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Entrepreneurial energy, for sure. She sells falcons and grapes. Mm-hmm. Not everybody wants them, but when they do, they come to her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's about independence, self-sufficiency, culminations, shutting all the bullshit down, standing in your power, and knowing your worth. This lady in this Nine of Pentacles, she's not afraid. She's not afraid at all. She knows she can grow grapes and she knows she can train falcons. That's a bad bitch right there. Right on. 
That's your reading, Taurus. Don't be afraid. Do something. Do it. Do it. No matter if it's big or small, huge or small, you have some gigantic business deal going on, hit me up. PathThePurpose.org. We'll read all about it. You're thinking about joining a bowling league or some kind of group where you are going to make friends, but you're an introvert like me and you're like, oh, hell no. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Find something that you can be involved in that is passionate to you. It's the key. It's the key, Taurus. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.